Let me talk to you about chemical engineers. Now, one of the main roles of chemical engineers is to design plants and industries that produce chemicals in large amounts for the consumers. And what I mean by design is to set all the required conditions, such as what equipments to be used in these plants, what temperatures, pressures, flow rates, because for a particular set of conditions, we will obtain a specific product. And it is how much of this product that we want that will determine how big the plant should be or how much money we should invest in it. But even after the whole plant has been built, there's another challenge called disturbances. An example is the weather, which fluctuates from summer to winter. So if we were to use the same set of conditions throughout the year, we will definitely end up with different set of products throughout the year. And that is a problem. So the solution is to install control valves. And traditionally, engineers have been using the sequential design approach, which consists of two stages. Stage one, the steady state design. Here, the engineer will ask, what product do I want to produce? And how much? For example, 250 kilograms of a washing detergent. Using that information, the engineer can backward calculation to get all the other required conditions. And the whole plant will be built. Happy ending? Not yet. Now this plant will be faced by disturbances. And here comes the second stage. Try to cancel and control these disturbances by adding control valves. Now, the drawback of this method is that after the whole plant has been built, there is a limit to how much the control valve can open and close. So higher disturbances might not be canceled, which means either higher economical cost or higher risk of operation. Therefore, my research focuses on simultaneous design, where before any design is made or any plant is built, we ask the question, what is the worst possible disturbance? So for the case of the weather example, minus 25 degrees Celsius in the winter could be the worst disturbance. Using that information, we try to design the whole plant so as to cancel the worst disturbance. The outcome will be a plant that is more conservative. Equipment sizes will be bigger, more expensive, but definitely can cancel all disturbances. Now, if the worst disturbance is not that frequent, we can use one of the other worst disturbances that happens more often, like the one that takes place 90% of the time. And we call that the probability approach. Now, results have been encouraging. And with oil prices increasing, chemical plants need to be optimized more than ever. And I believe that this research offers the more economical, safer plant designs that we need. Thank you.